everyone. Today we're going to be making what's called a fortune teller, but we're going to make a math fortune teller. So you're going to end up with something like this that you can either quiz yourself on or your brother and sister or your grandma and grandpa or your mom and dad, whoever's around. Or if it's just you, then you can do it by yourself too and pick the numbers. So I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step video of how you can make your own um, and I hope you have some fun with it. Enjoy! So the first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to try and figure out how to make this rectangle piece of paper turn into a square. Knowing what we know about our two dimensional shapes, we know that two triangles can become a square. So I'm going to take the top corner of my paper and I'm going to fold it down so that it becomes a triangle. I'm going to look at the corner here on this side and make sure that it's equal and I'm going to make it a triangle. Now there will be this skinny, tall rectangle on this side that I'm going to cut off. So I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut all along the edge of the triangle to cut off this piece of paper. So this, we don't need anymore and we don't need our scissors anymore. Now, if we open up our triangle, we're going to end up with our nice square. And our square will have a line right down the middle where the triangle was folded. Now the first step we'll have to do is we'll have to fold our square the other way in half so that we have a line coming down like an X in the middle. So I'm gonna take this corner and I'm gonna fold it up to the next corner and I'm going to squeeze it down along the middle. So now when I open it up, I have my nice square and I have two folds right down the middle making a nice X. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it so that the point, one of the points is facing towards me. And I'm going to take that point and fold it in towards the middle. So I've got something that looks a little bit like a sailboat. And now I'm gonna keep turning and folding those points until I have done all four corners. So I'm gonna take the next corner of the square and I'm gonna fold it in right into the middle. Make sure that you're pushing down on all your edges because that's what's gonna make the fortune teller be able to open and close so nicely. And I'm gonna turn it again and take the next point, the next corner and fold it in and the last one. So now I've got a little package with four flaps and I'm gonna keep those flaps down. Now I'm going to turn this over so that the flaps are on the bottom. So what I see on the top now is a smaller square with lots of folds all across. I'm going to do the exact same step as what we did last time but with the smaller square. So I'm gonna take the corner and point it towards me and I'm gonna start folding in the corner right to the middle. I can see where the middle is because I can see where all my old folds meet right in the center. So I'm gonna fold one corner in, then I'm gonna turn it and I'm gonna fold the next corner in and make sure to push down on all your edges I'm gonna fold the third corner in, and then I'm gonna fold the last corner in. So now you end up, just like you did in the last one, you end up with a little square, a little package with four even smaller flaps. So this is gonna be the inside of our fortune teller. Now what we have to do is we've gotta fold our square in half to make two rectangles. So I'm gonna fold it in half like this so that I end up with a rectangle. And I'm gonna open it back up, I'm gonna turn it once, and I'm gonna fold it again to make another rectangle. What we're doing now is we're just making the paper nice and soft on the inside so that we can actually open and close our fortune teller. So now at the back, on the inside we have our four big triangle flaps and on the outside 
we have four square flaps. This is gonna be where our fingers go in. So if I fold it just like this, I can stick one finger in there, my thumb in there, my finger in there, and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. It's a little bit tricky the first time, but then once your paper gets loose, it gets easier. And there you go, you can fold it up into a nice fortune teller. Now that we have our fortune teller ready, we need to write what we're going to be asking people about. So on the, on the back, where your fingers would go on the flaps, we're going to write math addition sentences. So I'm not gonna boss you around and tell you which addition sentences to write. I'll let you pick the numbers, but I would suggest not picking numbers like one million plus one million because it might be summer by the time you're finished all your different folds when you're counting to two million. Because all the number sentences, all the equations that you're going to write here, the answer to that equation is going to be the number that you decide to do when you're opening and closing your fortune teller. So I'm going to do 10 plus five on one. I'm going to do six plus six. I'm going to do five plus three, and I'm going to do one plus nine. On the inside, there are now going to be eight different spaces for you to write. So on each triangle flap, there's two smaller triangles that make it up. And what I want you to do here, this is going to be a little bit challenging, but I know that you can do it. I want you to write any number you want. I would suggest a number smaller than 10, but you can choose whichever. But instead of writing it in our numerals, in our numbers, I want you to write the word. So I'm going to write the word 7, the word 5, the word for 2, the word for 6, one, uh, what have I not done? Nine, three, and I'll end with the number 10. So now we have our outside flaps finished with our addition equations. We have our inside flaps finished with our word, our number words. If we open it up, here's where you are going to write the final questions, which is what you're going to be asking or answering uh, for when you're using your fortune teller. I want you to write eight different things because for under each number, that's where we will have another question. So on one, I want you to put plus five, minus five, plus 10, minus, 10 plus 1 minus 1 and you can choose what you put there. So I'm going to put plus 2 and minus 2 but you can put whatever you want in this last area. But I want you to put, I definitely want you to put plus 10 and minus 10 and plus 1 and minus 1. So now we can fold it back up. You can make yours more colorful if you want. I decided to just use black marker. And how it's going to work, so if you ask someone what they want to pick, and let's say they pick this one, one plus nine. I'm going to find the answer, so one plus nine is 10, and I'm going to count out that number while I switch back and forth from this to this. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Now they'll have another choice. So they have all the numbers that are written inside. So I have the number nine, two, five, and three. So let's say they pick the number five. This time, I'm not gonna count out that number, but I'm gonna spell it out. So five is F-I-V-E. And then we have the same numbers again. So let's say they pick the number two. I'm gonna spell it out, T-W-O. This time, this is the last one. When they pick their number, 
you're going to open the flap and answer that question. So if they pick 10, I'm going to open 10 and my math question will be plus one. So I'm going to ask the person to give me a number. Let's say they give me the number 12. I'm going to have to do in my head 12 plus one. So 13. And there you have it. You've got your math practice fortune teller. Have some fun.